the code to highlight a page action extension and make the pop-up accessible needs to go in an event page. Why? That's because event page runs in the background and moreover, our very purpose is to access the popup.html. So if we were to write our code in popup.js, we would never be able to reach that code because popup.html, where we reference the popup.js, is inaccessible. So for our next step, we need an event page that highlights our extension. So right here. Now first we need to edit the manifest for that. So let's go back to our manifest.json and I'm going to specify background. And this background is going to take an object. We're going to specify the scripts that run in the background. This is going to be an array, but for now it's just going to be the event page.js. We also need to specify the persistent to be equal to false because this is an event page. And if you want to learn about background pages and event pages in a bit more detail, I recommend you to go through the previous extension. All right, now that we have our manifest ready, we can create the event page. So event page.js. Now to specify or highlight our icon or page action icon, we have a Chrome API. But first we need to ask Chrome to retrieve all the tabs so that we can show the icon. So let me explain as and when I write this extension uh, API. So Chrome dot tabs dot query. So what this does is this method retrieves all the tabs and we can specify the options. So I'm going to say the tab has to be an active tab and it has to be in the current window. So current window is also going to be true. And then this is going to give us a callback function with all the tabs, an array of tabs to be more precise. Now that we have all the tabs, let me just highlight the icon in the tab where the extension is loaded. Now to show or highlight the page action icon, we use chrome.pageaction.show and this is going to take tabs of zero dot id. So this tabs right here, we just need one particular tab and its id. So now, since we use this chrome dot tabs, we also need to request, per request for permissions. So over here, I'm going to say permissions. And what do I need permissions for? I need permissions for all the tabs. So now let's save this and reload our extension. So if you have a look, the icon currently is grayed out. Now I'm going to reload this and there you go. The icon is now highlighted. So we are able to highlight our page extension, but for us, the icon should be highlighted only on this chrome.developer.com pages. So if you notice here, it is not yet highlighted. So to highlight our page action icon on specific pages, we need to make use of something known as content scripts. Let's learn about that in the next video.